Hey, what's going on everybody? POA here. Um, we get to do another Fallout uh, thing. Yay! I, uh, I, I thought we were... I wasn't going to really be able to get another one of these um, at, at, a, at a level that I was okay with doing this. So, we're actually going to do a battle... Sorry, a, a break today, because doing a battle with one of these boxes this is an exercise in futility. Um, random uncommons, trying to see the stupid little set symbol through the camera, giant casting call... Uh, no, 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 no. We're going to do a break. So, wish us luck, everybody. So we've got four participants. Each one's going to get three packs. Everything in those packs belongs to them. And we don't have to add up anything, so it'll be uh, quicker. I'm going to do a little shuffling, just because that is what we do here. I like to increase the randomness on top of the increased randomness. All right, Unholy Ram... Gremlin, Gator Coke Scientist, and Red Leader. So, I am going to go kind of slow, just because I don't know when the next time we'll get to do Fallout. <clears throat> um, I, 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 I do not know when... I'm not okay with like paying four fifty for a box of this. Uh, so, I, I don't know when that, that may happen again. Admittedly, I have one in the deep depths of the closet. And uh, I, don't, I don't know when that'll ever get... Why is this upside down? Oh, wizards. Okay, Ram, you're up first. <laughs> okay. So we have Stolen Strategy right off the bat. Tainted Field. Which is funny, a couple of the Surge Foiled, uh, surge foiled uh, Tainted Lands have actually been doing really well out there. Explorer's Scope. See, Tainted Field is not a rare. Not that it matters. We're doing a break here. But it's like, that's how easy it is to, to miss that. Lightning Greaves, which is pretty sweet. Gotta love Lightning Greaves in the... In a Vault Dweller. Assuming the Lone Wanderer. But Tainted Wood, yeah, that's the one that in... Especially that one in uh, Foil Etched is doing... Or sorry, Surge Foil is doing very well. Plasma Caster. Masterwork of Ingenuity. Okay. Codsworth. Does anybody put Codsworth to good use out there? Keep looking at it. Keep looking at it. Cinderglade. That is cool artwork, though. That is really cool artwork. Hey, foil. Uh, cool. Search foil Liberty Prime. That's actually pretty, pretty solid right there. Sweet. All right. Clifftop Retreat. Surge. Over Encumbered. Uh, that's actually a pretty cool Surge, too. It's an un... No, it's a rare. Okay. And then you get into the last two cards. You got the Hull Break Horror, the Prime Mire Lurk Queen. And a Foil Wasteland. Very nice pull, Ram. Very, very nice pull. And the Upside Down Token that kind of threw the whole thing off. Okay. Gremlin. So that's our first pack. Let me sleeve that up. That's our first of the Vault Boy treatments. And it's a good one. All right. I mean, they're all kind of good ones, but Wasteland is a, is a good one. Kind of we want as many as possible, really. Yeah, I, I love it. I, I love that. Okay. All right, Gremlin. So you got the Vault 21 House Gambit. Survivor's Med Kit in foil. Sun Scorched Divide. Prairie Stream. Command Tower with the Lucky 31. ED. Glacial Fortress. Okay. Three Dog. Good old Three Dog. Bloodforge Battle Axe. Amazing how cheap this card got from the Double Master 22 reprint than this. Okay, we got Madam, uh, we got Madam Curie in uh, Mr. Gutsy uh, <laughs> programmed to be Madam Curie. Surge Foiling. Marshall's Anthem. Squirrel Nest. That's actually got a goal in Surge Foiling. All right. Hey, Lord of the Undead. Not bad. And Atomize in Foil. Okay. All right. 
Gator Coke Scientist. Of course, I'm filming this just before the uh, Fallout TV show comes on Amazon, which I am super excited about because it looks like they didn't blow it. I don't, I mean, I, I, I don't, it doesn't need to be amazing. I hope it is, but it doesn't need to be amazing. I just need it to be at least be good. And I have no doubts just from everything I've already seen, it's going to be good. I'm kind of, kind of excited about that. Pip Boy 3000, good hit right off the rip. Anguish done making. Sheltered Thicket, Assaultron Dominator in the Surge. It's funny how they're like Surge right in the middle of the pack. And then there's Surge Spots. It's weird. Opulent Palace, Agent Frank Horrigan, Treasure Vault, okay. Wasteland Raider, Ruinous Ultimatum with Kaisar there, Red Death, Shipwrecker. Exotic Orchard. Actually, that's, that's probably kind of a semi-hit there in the Surge. Buried Ruin in Surge, which I actually know is a bit of a bit of a hit. Securitron Squadron. And Inventory Management. Okay. With more upside down tokens. Red Leader. Oh yeah, those search foil lands are fantastic. Tato Farmer, Mysterious Stranger. If you had the music uh, come across your head right now, wouldn't be shocked. And hey, another search foil of buried green. Mechanized production, which is set some like the, the rarity symbols don't even matter. They they literally don't matter. Corpse Jack Menace. Ah, Myrler Queen. I'm glad they did the Myrler Queen Prime and a regular Myrler Queen. Because I didn't even see this card yet before I saw the Prime. And I was like, ah, do you have to do the Myrler Queen as a, as a reprint? Couldn't you have made it a new card? Well, they kind of did. So they kind of did both in that case, which is just sweet. Hour of Reckoning. The Powder Gangers. Okay, Temple of Triumph. Diamond City and Surge Foil, and that's pretty cool. I gotta, I gotta throw that card in a couple of decks. I think it might be pretty sweet. Captain of the Watch. Sun Petal Grove. Okay. All right. Hey, a second Wasteland in the box. Awesome. So that's a Borderless Wasteland. And a Grave Titan and Foil. Okay. Solid first round. Ram, we're going to go back to you. Of course, we all know what we're after here. The odds are low, extremely, extremely low. But we all know what we're actually after here. But we'll see. We'll see, right? If we can hit good things like... Uh, well, that we kind of have been hitting, that's fine. All right, Shadow Blood Ridge. I'm going to put that Wasteland aside. Not to bury it. Hour of Reckoning. Three Dog, again. James. Power Fist. I gotta try out Power Fist in a, a couple of their decks. Might be quite good. Overseer. Anguished Unmaking again. Junktown. All right. Temple of the Plenty. Synth Eradicator. Okay, then. Marshall Coup. Hey, Grim Reaper Sprint Extended Art in the Surge. That's cool. All right. I feel like that's still a good hit. Not, a, not as... Arcane Signet, number two for you. I actually ended up having to buy one of these. It's the only one I didn't get out of my boxes. So I ended up having to buy one because I want it. And Vigor. Very good pull. Nice pack. With another upside down token. All right, Gremlin. Marler Queen, okay, in the uh, search. Stolen Strategy. Champion's Helm. Mindstone. Biomass Mutation. 
Moria Brown. It's right in her book. Heroic Intervention, that's cool. T45 Power Armor. I was kind of hoping those would be better, but they feel accurate. Spire of Industry. T45 Power Armor that time in the Surge. Temple of Deceit. Come on. Hey, there we go. That's better than that. We got Marlar Queen in the Extended Art Surge. Nuclear Fallout. There's a solid pull. And Walking Ballista. Very good. We're getting we're getting a lot of the solid hits there at the back. All right, Gator Coke Scientist, you are up. Come on, if I can get the pack open. Furious Lake. Skull Clamp. Good pull at the Uncommon. Squirrel Nest. Hey, our first foil bobblehead. It's the Endurance bobblehead. Very good. Arcane Signet. Feral Ghoul. Good pull. Blasphemous Act. Plasma Caster. Hinterland Harbor. Okay. Over Encumbered again, that time in the Extended Art Surge. Hardened Scales in the Extended Art Surge, and then we got the last two. Oh, nope, that was one ahead. Warrior Brown. Ah, the Crucible of Friggin' Worlds. Awesome. Hey! <laughs> Ravages of War in the Surge Foiling. What a pack. Sheesh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, Mr. Gator Coke Scientist, I see how you want to play. Just for keeping track, that is five Vault Boy cards in the pack the box so far. Red Leader. Oh, I should have, I should have used one of the Fallout play mats for this video. <laughs> All right, Entrapment Maneuver. I'm going to move that Wasteland aside for now. Wear and Tear. Inventory Management. Okay, Everflowing Chalice. You got Marcus. Automated Assembly Line. Mechanized Production. The Brotherhood Vertibird. All right, come on. Let's get something spicy. Frame Sanity, which is really funny. Powder Ganger, our first of the Surge. English on Macon and Surge. Ah, the Master in Extended Art Surge. That's pretty good. Okay. Come on. Red Storm. Not bad. Ah, and a Foil Flippin' Soul Ring. Holy crap. Okay. Okay. All right. Yep. That's a card. That is. That's a card. Okay. Last round for everybody. We got uh, Ram. You're up. Like I said, I was not gonna race through these. I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I'm, these. This is effectively <laughs> might be the last one on the channel of like for real, for real, real. All right, Temple of Triumph. Securitron Squadron. All right, Ram, come on. Abundant Growth. Nerd Rage. Nice uncommon pull right there. Okay, Contaminated Drink, which I think I accidentally counted that as a rare a couple times in the battles. Desdemona. Nesting Ground. Okay. The Master. Tireless Tracker. Jason Bright. Pretty good card. Surge Foiling. Wind Brisk Heights in Surge. And Securitron Squadron in Surge. Okay, we got the Gem Razor. All right, come on. Mythic. Hey, Dog Meat in Foil. Okay. 
So we got the showcase dog meat in the vet's treatment to finish off your packs. Gremlin. Do we have another Bolt Boy card in us so Gremlin isn't shut out? We have six so far. Okay, we got mechanized production. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I'm sure you will take this thing, because seeing that it is currently like a $50 card, that is a Surge Foil Luck Bobblehead, which happens to be like the bobblehead of the bobbleheads, because <clears throat> it's the one that says, win the game. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, let's, uh, let's continue on. Junk Town, automated assembly line. Hey, nuclear fallout and foil, cool. Power Fist, Entrapment Maneuver, Jason Bright again, Captain of the Watch again, Rampage and Yagwai, that's, uh, that's a pretty good card, and that time in Surge Foiling, Prairie Stream, which is actually a Prairie Stream, that's actually worth a couple bucks, Mechanized Production for the 15th time of the box, that time in Surge Foiling, which Actually, it looks really good. Like, I really like the Surge Foiling treatment. I think it's cool. Kind of almost, almost kind of glad, though, they save it for uh, Universes Beyond. Like, don't use it too often. Watchful Rad Stag. I like the card. Not, not a hit, but I like the card. And a Screeching Scorch Beast, which is a really, really good card. But you got yourself a pretty huge prize. Congratulations on the Surge Luck Bobblehead. Gator Coke Scientist, you're up. The Nipton Lottery. I'm just going to throw that aside for now. Elder Arthur Maxson. Single Combat. Spire of Industry, okay. Inerexable Tide. Inexorable Tide, sorry. Furious Lake, Temple Triumph. All right, so let's get into the juice. Hey, we got Rex. Pretty good hit. Scavenger Grounds. Nuka Nuke Launcher in Surge. Stolen Strategy for the 15th time in Surge. Bottle Cap Blast in Surge. That is also a pretty good hit. Dang, all right, nice pull. Really nice pull. Okay. Synth Infiltrator. Idolize. Okay. And that's going to do it. Okay. Red Leader. Last pack. Drowned Catacombs. You know, it's an interesting world where I'm putting Soul Ring ahead of Wasteland, but, like, come on. <laughs> if you're a Fallout fan, I mean, come on. All right, Drowned Catacomb. If you're not, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Butch Deloria. Hey, well rested. Good uncommon hit. Foil. Thought Vessel. Guardian Project. Good rare. Assaultron Dominator. Wake the Past. Harold and Bob. Steel Overseer. All right, now we're going to get into Surge stuff, I believe, next. Century Bot. Kind of cool in the Surge Foil. Hadn't seen that yet. Panharmonicon Surge Foil. If you're going to get this Panharmonicon, you get it in Surge Foil. And a Sun Petal Grove. And then the last two cards of the box. Hey, Vets. Cool. Okay. Neat removal. And we have one last one in us. We got ourselves a command tower in foil. All right. Well, that's going to do it, folks. Uh, appreciate you all out there. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. What was your favorite card from this set besides the Mothman and Kaisar and Liberty Prime and Dogmeat? Like the other cards in the set. Um, I found the Fallout decks. I found Kaisar's deck to be a mess. 
It badly needed to be rebuilt. And the Dr. Madison Lee one has so much potential for the future, it's crazy. Crazy. As things come out over time, that deck might become an absolute monster. The Dog Meat one was pretty much like pretty good out of the box. It's, you know, it's a Voltron deck and lots of cool enchantments inside the set, so it just kind of worked. And then the Mothman one was the one that was most ready to roll. And then with some upgrades, that deck's a pain in the neck. Overall, I, I would call the Fallout uh, Universes Beyond to be a success. Um, I don't know if everybody agrees on that, but to me, I mean, it sold well. So I think a large percentage of the population does agree with that because it sold really well. Um, but I think it was a success. No, they weren't the most powerful decks in the world. Um, one could argue the Warhammer decks were stronger overall. But I think they did a really good job with the flavor. I think they I think they killed it with the flavor. Outside of shoving, trying to shove everything into Kaiser's deck, like the, that, they could have done so much better with that deck. They just felt like they just wanted to shove in everything, and then they added in all these like Sierra Nuka uh, Cola enthusiast, whatever her name is. Um, that card doesn't fit the deck at all. So why do I have it in there? So I feel like, they, but at the same time, they're trying to keep every, every, all those characters and what they do on par with the character. So like the flavor wise, they didn't want to ruin the character for the sake of the deck. And that part makes sense to me. Like I get that. And part of me is happy they did that. So my overall fallout, fantastic time. Fantastic time. Really good set. I think it's going to continue to, to, to be around and hang around in popularity for a while. I could very much see them doing two or three print runs of the decks similar to what they did with Warhammer. Obviously, the collector packs were complete super success. Um, Giant-sized success out there in the world. So kudos to Wizards for doing that. And um, that's a challenge point, because I know there were people that wanted them and couldn't get them, and it sucks. Uh, what is a company supposed to do when... <laughs> You look at your average sales of different things and you try to create a print run based off of that and then that print run turns out to be not nearly enough but it's also a one and done print. What do you do? Well, even LGSs weren't necessarily happy about it even though one could say, well, they got to you know make a lot more money per box. Sure. Or they could have also sold a lot more boxes and wouldn't have had people get mad at them for having to cancel orders because they couldn't get enough. Or that in some cases like their web system didn't shut off orders in time or stuff like that. And they had to call people and say like, I'm really sorry, we, we can't, right? It sucks. Then people get mad at you. It's, you, you as a business, I think this is, the, this is the overall. You would rather sell the person a box. Like it, it's very few people in this world are going to be like, nah, nah, you know, this, I'm, I'm just going to hold. No, no, businesses are in the business of moving product, folks. <laughs> if they could move more product, they would love to move more product. <laughs> yes, there are a few people out there in the world that probably canceled because they spiked. Sure. But that's, that's the exception, not the rule. Most want to move product. And so they already set the price at a profitability level that they expect at a minimum. Uh, and then, and then if it goes from there, then they make more money. Yes, that's true. But usually if that happens, then they're also not getting as much product at the same time. So it's an interesting supply and demand correlation, but businesses would love to sell you the product. And I think that people need to understand that just an end of the video rant. Thank you all.